population of enslaved Africans came from many ethnic groups. The Africans who arrived in what is now known as Latin America came mostly from Central and Western Africa. Ethnic groups like the Mandingo, Ashanti, Ewe Fon, Mina, Nago, and Igbo were just a few of those brought over. Cuba was a gathering point for the Arará, Yoruba, Carabalí, and Bacongo people. People from Carabalí and Yoruba were also scattered throughout Latin America, though it was in Cuba that they came together and maintained their culture. Approximately 240,000 were Carabalís, 200,000 Ararás, 400,000 Congolises, and 275,000 Yoruba people would be enslaved and brought to Cuba, causing the fall of the Oyo Empire in Africa. The plan failed. They rebelled. Enslaved Africans joined together and maintained their religious practices as a form of resistance. The Bantu ethnic group was one of the largest groups enslaved. The Bantu had many subgroups, such as the Bacongos and others that were brought from Mexico to Argentina. This heritage is preserved in the Bantu songs found in Argentina. Un 65% de los traídos a, hacia Montevideo eran de origen Bantú, es decir, Angola, Mozambique, Congos. The Bantú influence is also seen in Haitian voodoo. The Palenquero language in Colombia also has its roots in Bantú. Pane nubo vira lengua suto. Maese tan hace trecusa. Monacito de Taquilán de Uriacuyo es tan leoncusa de, de traición sur. En Panamá, they play and dance to los congos. <tose> Las tradiciones vienen de África y no solamente tenemos el baile Congo, tenemos otros bailes, pero el Congo sí nace aquí en Portobelo. Es el baile que habló y que hizo muchas cosas para poder defender la libertad en su momento y lograr lo que hoy día somos. The Dominican Republic also has its Congo. Eso es africano. Eso es de cuando lo, lo esclavo. In a span of 400 years, an estimated 7 million enslaved Africans were brought to South America. 5 million were taken to Brazil. Over 4 million arrived to the West Indies, and 300,000 slaves were shipped to Central America. African women contributed greatly to the history and culture of Latin America. One way to honor these women is through gastronomy. In almost all Latin American countries, there is a dish of African origin. Markets like this one in Cartagena, Colombia, offer many foods of African descent. The coconut rice and fried fish are common in Afro-Latino areas. During the slavery era, African women cooked for their masters and prepared for them the best meats and fresh foods. The leftovers were used to feed themselves, the men and the children. Honduras and Guatemala share the Garifuna culture, which has a distinct and unique history. Garifuna history begins in 1635, when a Spanish ship from Nigeria sinks near the island of San Vicente. These castaway Africans mix with the natives called Caribs and Arawak. This was the birth of the Garifuna people, indigenous Africans who were free in desolate areas. Their chief, Joseph Chatoyer, and his wife Barauda were Garifuna leaders. On February 20th, 1797, over 5,000 Garinagu exiled from San Vicente to escape English rule. Only half of them made it to the island of Roatan, today known as Honduras. From there, 
The Garifuna people settled along the coast of Honduras, all the way from the town of Trujillo to the village of Masca. The Garifuna people migrated to the countries of Belize, Costa Rica, and Nicaragua, and to the towns of Livingston and Puerto Barrios in Guatemala. Today, there are about 45 Garifuna villages in Central America. The Dominican Republic, land of merengue and breathtaking beaches. Yet how many people know that English is a native language of some Dominicans? In the Dominican Republic, there were two different migrations of blacks, West Indians and African Americans. After the Haitian Revolution in 1804, the Haitian government welcomed African Americans to come to the island to help rebuild their country. With the desire to escape a racist United States, African Americans from Philadelphia and other U.S. coastal cities migrated to Haiti and the Dominican Republic. The Afro Americans came from, they all left out from Philadelphia. Primer grupo fue de Haití, después a Santo Domingo, luego el grupo de Samaná, y otro grupo se fue para Puerto Plata. In 1824, Haitian President Jean-Pierre Boyer financed a trip of North American blacks that wanted to live and work in Haiti. In all, 6,000 people reached the island of Hispaniola, and the African-American culture brought to the Dominican Republic still remain in the area of Samana. When a person from Latin America looks in the mirror, what do they see? The African presence is easily recognizable in the carnivals, festivals, celebrations, and music of Latin America, yet it is much more complex. Latin Americans have a diverse and varied DNA. 500 years and over 15 generations have passed since the Spanish conquest. What is the identity of a Latin American? Today, many people are still confused about how they should identify and what parts of themselves to include. There are many terms used to identify a person in Latin America. Most of these terms come from the caste system. The caste system came with the Spanish and was used to define and classify those of mixtures of African, indigenous, and Spanish blood. There are hundreds of variations in the caste system. There was a classification system implemented with a list of terms that varied by country. However, the most popular terms used were mestizo, indio, sambo, and mulato. One of the most controversial terms is the use of the word negro or negra. This term brings some positive and negative connotations. For example, when you say in the street, Hey, negra! I think there is discrimination, aunque no seamos conscientes. Por qué? Porque todos tenemos un nombre. Por qué no? Hey, chica, hey, muchacha, hey. But the issue of being black is deeper than just words. There are underlying truths and expectations that are spoken and unspoken about all things black in the Latino family. These racist ideas have been passed from generation to generation, teaching children how to marry well, being accepted in the world by marrying someone with finer features or lighter skin, discouraging them from marrying a black woman or man. What is the correct term to use to identify someone from Latin America with more melanin in their skin? African characteristics, features, phenotype, body type, and physical appearances are also identity traits. So if the physical traits are there, then why are so many people negating their Africanness and denying blackness? Mentira. The issue of good hair, bad hair, is also a way for people to identify themselves as Afro-Latinos or as a way to completely deny all connections to Africa. Afro-Latinos, the untaught story, is Latino history. It is a legacy of more than 12 million enslaved Africans who were brought to Latin America, a people who made lasting contributions that are honored and celebrated 500 years later in religion, music, dance, literature, food, family, community, and culture. After Latinos, the untaught story is one of freedom, strength, and faith. People of African descent go back hundreds of years in Mexico, but as a group, Afro-Mexicans are largely invisible. A 2015 census is changing that. CCTV's Frank Contreras has insight from Mexico's southern state of Oaxaca. 
Among Afro-Mexican communities here on the Pacific coast of Mexico's Oaxaca state, this dance is symbolic. Locals say the devils represent the growing power of African descendants in this part of Latin America. It's a history that's beginning to gain global attention. The presence of Africa here in Oaxaca state is one of the lesser known aspects of the vast cultural diversity in this region, one of the most culturally diverse in all of Latin America. Last year, for the first time, the government conducted an interim census asking Mexicans, based on your culture, history and traditions, do you consider yourself black, meaning Afro-Mexican or Afro-descendant? And nearly 1.4 million people responded, yes. Afro-Mexican communities exist here in Oaxaca State's Costa Chica region, the neighboring state of Guerrero, and Veracruz state, among others. An Afro-Mexican leader from Pinotepa Nacional says, as a nation, Mexico is much more than just a mixture of Spanish and indigenous people. We believe that the whole world should know that in the colonial era, Mexico was an entry point for African slaves. Our ancestors were forcibly brought here under slavery. But images of African descendants in Mexico rarely appear in public. The exception is this famous comic book character, Memín Penguin, which was created in the 1940s. Nicomedes Ramirez and her cousin, Castula Silva, grew up in these impoverished coastal communities. Ramirez says over the years, politicians have come with their electioneer promises to end poverty. They told us they would help and they would bring us basic things we were lacking. All we had to do was ask, but so far, they have done nothing for us. I never went to school because when I was a girl, there was no school here. We had to go to another community, and my parents, may they rest in peace, told me I could not go, so I never studied. Afro-Mexican communities are almost completely separated from the rest of Mexico, and very few outsiders ever come here for a first-hand look at their most well-known traditions, like this dance known as a chilena or this one depicting a charging bull. Mexico's national constitution is the only one in Latin America that does not specifically mention the existence of citizens of African descent. Afro-Mexican authorities say they're planning to take legal action and change the constitution so that it includes them. By having no presence in the Mexican constitution, there is no public policy that protects our rights and necessities. We, as Afro-Mexicans, like many indigenous Mexicans, live in regions of extreme marginalization. Constitutional recognition would finally give them access to medical services, educational grants, and social security benefits. For now, Afro-Mexicans, whose descendants came from places like Kenya, the Congo, and later the Caribbean, still do not enjoy these basic rights.